I'm going to get you some cold water, just a little bit in there. Take a teaspoon or two and mix this in here. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to make my one of my favorite meals from Cheetah's. Cheetah is a daytime strip kind of club here in Atlanta. And they make this best Southern fried chicken. So I'm going to show you what all I use to make mine. So let's get into this video. So what you need for this meal is some chicken breasts, and I got my potatoes over there boiling. I insert this up here one of these ways to show you that. Just cut up some potatoes and then cut them up in little squares because you're going to make mashed potatoes out of them. And they serve it with any kind of side dish. So I got me some broccolini. This is so good. So we're going to go ahead and get this together. First, you want to do is get your chicken breast. Now, chicken breasts come thick. So what you do is cut the chicken breast in half. So like this. So let me go ahead and wash this off and come back. Okay, let's go ahead and season it. Put some mustard on there. Sprinkle in a little hot sauce. Now my choice of cheese, however you like to season your chicken is up to you, but I'm just showing you what I put in my chicken. Orange Pekka Boya seasoning. Some Obey, I mean, Adobo, tomato bay. Paprika. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Kicking chicken by Weber. This is really good on chicken. Mrs. Dash. Black pepper. One egg. And we're gonna sprinkle some bacon powder on here. Just a little. So go ahead and mix all this together. put it in something, we're going to rinse this off, and then come back. I'm going to cut some of these, you know, these stems off. Go ahead and put some olive oil on here, and just season it. You can just season it with salt and pepper, but you know me, I'm a little extra. I got to put all my seasonings on here, which is the same season I put on the meat, except for, um, you know, like the hot sauce and pepper and stuff like that. I mean, not pepper, hot sauce and mustard. Give it a little extra, extra garlic. Just toss these in here. I mean, toss it around. All this can coat it, and we're going to sit this to the side because we're going to um, like cook these in a pan, in a skillet, saute it. I want all that seasoning to get on there. Put this to the side. Now we're going to saute the broccolini. What you need is a skillet, and you're going to put you some butter in there. about a half a stick of butter. 
turned on medium low. Go ahead and add your broccoli. Gonna get you some minced garlic. You can use fresh or minced, it don't matter. Just put a little squirt in there. Make sure y'all turn this down because you want to slow cook it. So while that's cooking, um, let me check the potatoes. The potatoes are done, we're gonna drain it off and then we're gonna make it how, I'm gonna show y'all how to make some good mashed potatoes, some real, real good mashed potatoes. Okay, the potatoes are back. And this is what I put in mine. Just a splash of heavy cream. splash not that much just a squirt of sour cream just a little squirt and you're gonna put you a little bit of Philadelphia cream cheese in here just about that much add you some butter Some pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and some seasoning salt. And mash these down. I'll show y'all how it looks. And we're gonna put this off to the side and work on our other dishes. Okay, the broccolini. About almost done. Get this about five more minutes and it's done. So let's fry, let's get the, fry the chicken and then we're gonna do the gravy. Some gravy, so what you need for this is some grease. So I'm gonna get some grease out of this when I'm Turn this on medium. Just add a little grease. If you was frying something in here, you would take it out and the little stuff that's left in there, you'll be frying. But I got the um, this on, so. so you want to get you some flour. Just sprinkle some flour in there. Now, depending on how dark you want it, this is how much you're going to let this turn to. But you want to let all that flour absorb and get you a cup of cold water. Well, you're going to need some cold water. Okay, this is bubbling up. I'm gonna add me a tad bit more of flour.
I'm gonna let this get dark. I'm gonna add a sprinkle in browning seasoning. This is just to make it browner. As you can see, it's getting dark on its own, for real. So this is optional. Whatever color you want your gravy to look like before you pour it in there, water in there. I want mine brown. So slowly add in cold water. Do not add in no hot water because it's going to lump up. So that was four cups of water. So now you want to do is season this. So I'm gonna season with some salt and pepper. I mean, this is seasoning salt, garlic powder, black pepper, Mrs. Dash. onion powder, and some adobo. Make sure you taste this to make sure it tastes right. But I'm gonna show you a trick if it doesn't thicken up, but go ahead and just let that thicken up, make sure it's on low, low heat. But now we're gonna go ahead and fry our um, chicken. Get you some flour. And you're going to go ahead and fry one of the chickens. I'm just gonna fry two. When other people come over, I just make the chicken fresh for them. Go ahead and let that fry. Let's see how it's kind of thin. I'm gonna show you what to do. I'm gonna get you some cold water, just a little bit in there. Take a teaspoon or two and mix this, mix this all up. Make sure it's mixed up. This will make it thicker. And you just add this. Just add a little bit. I'm going to leave some to the side just in case I need some more, but I doubt it. And give it a good stir. Make sure you check in the taste it to make sure it's seasoned how to your taste. As you can see, the gravy has thickened up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this in like a pouring thing so I can pour this gravy over this fried chicken. It's about ready to come out. So let's get this all together. 
Look at these mashed potatoes, baby. Yes, that's all you need for these. So good. Now, if I wasn't making something with gravy, I would add like some shredded cheese in there, but this is a different meal. So let's get everything together. Look at this gravy. Yes. Hunty, less time to eat. Let me give me something to drink, then we're gonna whip this up together. So we're gonna put this on the plate just how Cheetah does it. We put them some mashed potatoes on there. Look at them thick mashed potatoes. Y'all, them instant mashed potatoes don't do no good. It take you five seconds to peel some potatoes and make some. See, my mashed potatoes. Okay. They set a chicken breast on top, just like that. I'm gonna smash it down a little bit. No choice of vegetables when you're there. I usually get asparagus or broccoli. And then we go ahead and pour the gravy on there. Look at this. Yes, let's get into this. And get me a knife. Ooh, this is hot. Let me taste this. Mm. It's tasting just how I imagine it, good as hell. So you all, let me know how y'all make y'all, if y'all ever tried Cheetah's Country Fried Chicken, and let me know if you like it, And but let me just know if y'all made this. And let me know how you like how I made it. I showed you how to make some gravy mac macaroni. <laughs> I showed you how to make some gravy and some mashed potatoes, but yes, let me, I gotta eat. This is a good, peace out. Y'all already know the deal. Comment, subscribe, like, and share.